welcome back with another episode of Mount Vernon Gems. Today we are at Stem's Vintage Garden located in Mount Vernon, New York. We're here with Maria, owner and operator of Stem's Vintage Garden, and today we're going to do something really cool and fun. And we're going to make our own bouquets. So Maria, I'm super excited. Make you know, it. you're going to lead me because you are the creative behind all of this. Where do we start? Alexis, let's start by welcoming you to the store, <laughs> to the shop. In yeah. this beautiful cold morning. Yes. And let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, mm -hmm. we're going to take the um, first one. We're going to clean. Oh, take this one. Lid. Beautiful. Oh, oh, lid. Lid. Mine is blooming. My too. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful oriental lily. We clean the leaves from the bottom. Don't worry about the mess. <laughs> they can be touching the water. Oh, is mine good or good? I already built it. We can bring it in. Oh, okay. There, you there go. we go. What about it? Let's use the tail now. It's just falling. And what? What is this called? Kale. Kale. Look how beautiful. Okay, put this here. One, you can use one higher than the other one. Once you have them all together, they move. They're gonna move regardless. Okay. Not gonna lie, guys, this is pretty hard. You really have to be very creative to do this because I was not seeing the vision until now it's all together. Mine's pretty decent, but this is the one. You see how, wow, you see how you get it all high and low. I get what you mean. Yeah. Okay, what is Beautiful. this called? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just pretty. These are. This is gorgeous. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like put this. Once we're done. We oh my God! What is flying? It's the uh, stem. At stems vintage garden. The stems fly. You like that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. You wanna go ahead and wrap it now? Are you going to keep it? Yes. That's the hardest part. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Okay. Okay, now we're at the wrapping station because I made my beautiful bouquet. So, okay. Fine. What color would you like to use? Ooh, this has words. I love words of affirmation. Yeah. So, okay. okay, Alexis. So, now we're moving to the full okay. section. And we're going to be wrapping now. In the front. Oh, Perfect. So pretty. You want to cut the paper? Yeah. Perfect. Let's measure it. I like to use those papers because they have uh, messages. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you're making a bouquet, you, you really are putting your heart out. It's true. Not only making it, but presenting it. And you never know how the other person is going to be seeing it. Exactly. After. So exactly. let's cut it and let's cut, cut, here. cut like here. I didn't pass All cutting the way, class Alexis. in kindergarten. Kind of hard. Especially with my small teacher. Go ahead. <laughs> All the way. Getting there. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you know, we, you can use also the um, Korean paper. A lot of people like to use Korean paper. I love Korean paper too. What's the difference? Well, not for all occasions. You know, okay. sometimes you want to be different. You have to be you. And it's not because it's in fashion out there. You really have to use it. You know, I like to be more me. Okay. Let's hold it back. Remember, presentation is everything. Presentation is key. It's key. This is really beautiful. Hold it. Hold it tight. Okay. Perfect. Guys. It says, this flower bouquet is full of love. You get the message now? Yes, I do! Perfect! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. Now we're gonna spread the love. Ta-da! Look what we did, guys! Come experience true love in a bouquet at Stem's Vintage Garden in Mount Vernon. Maria, this is beautiful. This is how we get to people's hearts. Look at this. Bouquet. And this is the way we win people's hearts. 
every single so time heart. to your heart. Oh, I love this. So being that your flower shop is out in Mount Vernon, what inspired you to open your flower shop here? Well, I'm in Mount Vernon, I've been living here since 2012. Mm -hmm. And uh, wow. my teacher study here, Pennington, mm -hmm. Mount Vernon High. Oh, wow. And Ooh. this is my neighborhood, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, the people around the restaurant, you know, you get to know the people. Right. And I want to remain here. This is my area and this is what I want to stay. And um, I always wanted to have a flower shop in the area. What do you love most about Mount Vernon? Everything. Everything. That's usually, it's so Everything. diverse, I think. And yes. people don't really appreciate the diversity, but I feel like it's getting more and more diversity in every day, and it's the most beautiful thing about this city. So the holidays is around the corner, Thanksgiving, Christmas, yes. and we all love Christmas. People always skip over Thanksgiving. So what inspired you to create this beautiful fall Christmas tree? My tree, actually, I love Christmas. Mm -hmm. Christmas is the best time of the year, the way people say, but it's the time that I go more crazy, like <laughs> creating different stuff, playing with different textures and, and flowers and plants and all that you can find in order to create, you know, different other stuff. Mm -hmm. But I wanted a Christmas to be here for the longest time. If you guys could see the details in this tree, there are baskets, a fox, baby pumpkin, barley, wheat, I don't know if you think that. But honestly, it's so beautiful. The pillows, mm -hmm. everything that you can find, it's just a, uh, you know, wow. that's exactly what happened last year uh, okay. with our Christmas tree. Everybody wanted to have a tree and one of the customers came with his kids mm -hmm. and they love the tree. I have to bring it down this same way it was in the table. I love that. I love that. So we're planning to have more stuff for Christmas. We're just getting ready for the holidays now. Transitioning from fall to uh, Thanksgiving and then Christmas. We're going to have some maybe ornaments. Okay. Or like the small Christmas tree we really have in the shelf. Um, and over Christmas uh, decor. I love that. Yeah. So besides all the stuff that you put together yourself, I see you guys have a refrigerated flower yes. room. So basically in this room, people can make their own bouquets, right? Um, yes, they could, but uh, with our help. <laughs> because, you know, sometimes people by touching the flowers, they could damage it and there's no way back once they, they broke it. But um, right. yes, they could come in and choose whatever they want to use and we help them build the bouquet or we build them ourselves. I love it. These vases. My last question for you is, what yeah. is the most popular flower or flower arrangement that people tend to order or get here? Roses. Ooh, what color? Red roses. That's my favorite. Always. That's your favorite. <laughs> that's I remember favorite, that. Yes. That's your favorite. That's nice though, because yeah. you know the meaning behind the red rose is like love. Yeah. And that's what Maria presents here when you guys come to Stem's Vintage Garden. Make sure you stop by. What's the address? 33 Half West Grand Street. 33 Half West Grand Street, right across from the CVS. Guys, make sure you check them out and say Alexi from Mount Vernon Gems sent you. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Alexi.